Welcome back to the X Lounge. This is Brian, your host. And in this video, we're going to paint a little bit of the, the darker green on these alligator panels. <clears throat> this is dried overnight. And I was going to give another coat of uh, clear lacquer over this because I thought that this would rub off easily. Um, it's, it's, it's fairly durable. I'm, I'm probably still going to give it a coat though. Uh, just so that the, both of the, so that they have the same shine level. I don't know what you would call that. You know, this is kind of a satin and this is more of a gloss. So, I'll do that and have them all match up. But no need to do that right now. Uh, what I'm going to do now is paint all these and uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to make you suffer through that though because that's probably going to be a little boring. But that's what's, that's what's next. Uh, I'm also going to uh, paint all these panels and I'm probably going to airbrush them so those are going to get taped off here. <laughs> Okay, I'll go airbrush that and I'll be right back. And we have just painted our control panels gray, German gray by Tamiya. And I've already seen a couple spots that got covered up. I should have just hand I should have just hand brushed these because that took forever. Ran through a lot of tape. And I, I see that I've probably missed a couple spots. And the dashboard. This uh this tape that I used here, it's scotch, and I think it's called fine line tape. <clears throat> it's kind of stretchy. Ooh, he says as he breaks it. But, I mean, you can stretch it, probably stretch it around corners, just not as tight as what we modelers need. And, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't stick too well. Look how it's kind of pulling off. So, I probably won't be using it for too much in the modeling world, maybe in other applications. But it doesn't cut too well. I mean, it's pretty tough.
So I just realized something. If I don't paint these gauges with this backing gray color, uh, it's going to look out of place because it's not going to match up with the other gauges. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to hand brush with Tamiya that I've already thinned for airbrushing. This might not work. I do have to touch up a spot here though. Yeah, I think it worked out all right. Ah,